Tesla Giga Shanghai is now either suggesting something really interesting or hinting something very interesting, or this can be a big coincidence. Friends, yesterday one of you sent me some tips and this is very interesting from Giga Shanghai. So first of all, take a look at, uh, here's what he noticed actually. When you look at the trucks at Giga Shanghai, are these new colors? As, uh, are these not the colors as claimed to roll off the production from Giga Berlin? Look how similar the Giga Shanghai's truck colors are similar to the new colors that are um, uh, claimed to roll off the production of Gigafactory Berlin. So is this too coincidental or are these kind of silent hint? Look at the colors, red and, uh, and how clever the marketing is. So look very carefully at the trucks and the colors on the canvases of the trucks. Aren't these the colors strikingly similar to the crimson red and abyss blue or this is just just a coincidence. So what happened earlier that Tesla Giga Berlin's paint colors that are very, going to be very famous were recently revealed via the company's mobile app, Tesla app, update 4.2.1, teased the first three paint colors available for Giga Berlin vehicle. Those colors are deep crimson multi-coat, abyss blue multi-coat, mercury silver metallic. Now look at the canvases of the Giga Shanghai's colors. Are they not too similar? So what do you think? This is the uh, kind of the key of this report. What is this? A new hint from Tesla about Giga Shanghai's new upcoming colors or this is just coincidental? Let me know your thoughts uh, in the comment section below, friends. Tesla plans to produce the mobile uh, Model Y first at Giga Berlin within the source code of the Tesla's app recently update were also references to the three new color options, deep crimson multi-coat, abyss blue multi-coat and mercury silver metallic. And uh, if you remember, Tesla enthusiast Tesla underscore Audrey tried to recreate the available Giga Berlin colors and shared renders of them on Twitter. Now, what's interesting is that we see the same colors on the canvases of Giga Shanghai. So what does this mean? Coincidence or a new hint from Tesla? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Peace be with all of you. God bless you, everyone. Have a great weekend this weekend. And let's move on to the next Tesla story. Friends, Breaking news is coming from Tesla Giga Berlin. It looks like IG Metal Union, Germany's largest metal and automotive union, is winning over Tesla as Tesla Giga Berlin employees consider a works council with local unions support. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Harian from TorqueNews.com. Tesla employees at Gigafactory Berlin in Germany will now erect a works council according to a German trade union, which stated work would have a say in their labor to align with the traditional quote democratic work culture unquote in Germany. Democratic work culture was a quote quoted in Tesla Radi. Tesla Radi's Joey Klender says the trade union representing the workers at Gigafactory Berlin is the IG Metal Union, which stated that a total of seven Tesla workers had already taken the initial steps to form a works council. IG Metal said uh, the workers are planning to choose an election committee later this month on November 29th. Here's a quote I want to share with you. A works council ensures that the interests of the workforce have a voice in weight that corresponds to the democratic work culture in Germany. Bright Dietz, district manager of IG Metal in Berlin, Brandenburg, Saxony, said. He also said, innovation and flexibility as well as safety, occupational safety and a strong co-determination are not a contradiction but the basis for economic success. Dietz has familiarity, familiarity with representing automotive unions through IG Metal. She has worked with company representing with various, for various German automakers including Volkswagen AG and Audi from 2016 to 2016. IG Metal 
said that to work effectively with the prospective works council that this Tesla Giga Berlin employees want to set up, it will have to determine the emotions and interest of the entire workforce that it will represent. As only seven members of the Giga Berlin workforce have come forward, IG Metal said it makes sense not to hold the electoral process for a committee immediately. The trade union said that only one-sixth of Tesla's total Giga Berlin workforce had been hired. There will be an estimated 12,000 employees at the Giga Berlin plant. Friends, IG Metal has an FAQ, um, uh, Friendly Frequently Asked Questions section on its website set up specifically for the Giga Berlin operation. According to Reuters, IG Metal has told some applicants that Tesla is offering pay that is 20% lower than wages offered by other German automakers. Tesla Gigafactory Berlin is set to open within the coming months. However, some German politicians are confident that the plant will begin normal operation by the end of this year. However, I said in my previous reporting today and yesterday that Tesla still need to do some paperwork and, uh, and, and I don't know when Tesla will kind of finish that and how long it will take the government authorities to give the final permit. So let me know, friends, your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any comments, concerns, or questions about uh, the work council for, at Giga Berlin and the union at Giga Berlin, let me know your thoughts. Um, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Uh, do you think Tesla will be unionized at Giga Berlin? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Have a great day. Peace be with all of you. And let's move on to our next story. Today was a big day around Tesla Giga Berlin. The situation at Giga Berlin changed because it was the deadline for ending the public discussions. Now, after that, Brandenburg's economy minister Steinbach said he is optimistic on final approval of Tesla Giga Berlin this year. But I also reported that there was another hurdle. If Tesla does not reschedule Giga Berlin again, the plans around it, the public participation in the approval process of Tesla factory is now over. However, there are still obstacles ahead of the final operating license I reported last time, last night, because Tesla has not yet submitted all the necessary documents to the authorities. This involves issues relating to pollution control and water law, explained Ulrich Stock from the State Environment Agency. Now, with all these hurdles that is now seem to be on the Tesla's part, Brandenburg's economy minister says he is optimistic on final approval of Tesla Giga Berlin still to come this year. That means everything needs to be finished and Tesla needs to prepare all this paperwork before Christmas and uh, the government needs to study this before Christmas and give the final permit for to start for Tesla to start the mass production. So I'm looking at uh, Twitter and people are saying he was also optimistic for April, uh, then for October 2021 start. The minister simply has no influence sadly on Tesla's final approval uh, from the authorities. Um, and another person says anything longer than a uh, few weeks uh, is already too long. And uh, someone from Germany, uh, actually uh, with German and China flag named China Rider says, optimistic in Germany means I have no idea and I don't believe myself in it, but I'm optimistic that Tesla will have the final permit this year. I wouldn't say this, but because the man has been very uh, supportive of Tesla Giga Berlin, but he is not the uh, person who gives the final permit. So so Brandenburg's economy minister, Jörg Steinbach, uh, uh, Berlin.de reports, remains optimistic that the first electric cars will roll off the assembly line from Tesla Giga Berlin this year, even after the last objections from critics to the factory of the US electric car manufacturer Tesla. However, he could not guarantee this, said Steinbach on Monday in Potsdam on the occasion of a balance sheet on the 20th anniversary of the Brandenburg Economic Development Co Corporation. He assures, uh, assures actually, actually he assumes, uh, however, that the objections to the renewed online discussion will not lead to any huge problems. This is why he is optimistic. And the objections ended. And as I reported yesterday, the interest was uh, kind of fading away. And looks like there are not that many serious objections. The mood in the meeting of the last task force for the settlement of the U.S company Tesla was very relaxed at the moment. He described Steinbach did not provide any further details such as a point in time for a decision on final approval of the Tesla plant. Berlin that 
DE also reports that the approval of Tesla's first electric car factory, Giga Berlin, in Europe is still pending around two years after the settlement was announced. This Monday, a renewed discussion on the objections of critics to the factory of the US electric car manufacturer came to an end. That was yesterday. The discussion then had to be evaluated. After the online cons consultation of over 800 objections in October altogether, environmental groups had accused uh, the country of being made public too late. The State Environment Agency then decided to repeat the process already for the third time. Tesla CEO Elon Musk wants to produce the to wants the Tesla Giga Berlin's production to start in December 2021. At the latest, so far, Tesla has been building through early approvals. In the first discussion on the internet, for example, environmentalists and local residents warned that drinking water in the region could become scarce because of the factory. They feared negative consequences for the forest and animals and questioned the concept for dealing with incidents. Tesla had rejected the criticism. So now, friends, as soon as Tesla does that paperwork that it needs to do, like I said, the obstacles ahead of the final operating license, because Tesla has not yet submitted all the necessary documents to the authorities, which involve issues relating to pollution control and water law. Once Tesla does this, then the only thing remains is the final permit and approval. Uh, well, let me know your thoughts. When do you think this will come? Are you positive or are you also optimistic that Tesla will start the mass production of Giga Berlin this year? We have already seen Tesla um, doing some test production at Giga Berlin. Looks like Tesla has permit for that. And that's great and that's exciting. So we're looking forward for the final uh, permit and the mass production. Hopefully it comes before Christmas. Let me know your thoughts, friends. This is Armin Harayan. Have a great rest of the day, whether it's day or morning there. It's morning in Charlotte, North Carolina. Peace be with all of you, your families. God bless you everyone and let's move on to our next Tesla story.